Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today's unboxing and review is Victor Crowley from the Hatchet series and this is a figure by NECA Toys. I'm really impressed with the figure and the accessories that it comes with um, but I'd like to know what your thoughts are of it in the comments section. So yeah let me know what you think and be sure to tune into the channel tonight March 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern to catch the review of the Hatchet movies and also we'll be reviewing the Victor Crowley movie. So thanks for watching and have a great day. And here I'll give you a close up of the figure. And as you can see, there is the hatchet. It's got good detail on it. And the belt sander there on the left. And Crowley himself, he looks great. He comes with an extra hand. And then there's the artwork that he comes the package comes with. It, it's really well done. I'm really impressed with it. And here's the back of the package. This is, also has really great artwork. And yeah, th this is packaged so that you can leave him in the package and just display him as is. And yeah, I, it's really well done. I, I, I always keep the artwork that these come in. See, I'm an out-of-the-box collector, so I take the figure out, and I I still keep the artwork, though. And, yeah, that, that's NECA toys, and yeah, it's it's just really great artwork. I, I really like this a lot. Not bad for a blister pack figure. Not bad at all. And here's a quick 360 view of him before I take him out of the package. And as you can see, yeah, the way that they put everything in with him is designed really so that you can just keep him as is and just hang him up if, you know, you don't like to take these things out of the packages. But of course, I, like I, I've said many times, I do take these things out of the package. So yeah, he'll be coming out with all of his accessories. But yeah, I, I really like the way he looks and yeah, I really like, I'd like to know what you think as well. And here he is out of the package with all of his accessories. And like I said, yeah, he really does look great. And we'll just go ahead and get right into showing you the accessories. And this is the alternate hand that he comes with. And this is the hand you'll use for if you want him to hold the hatchet. And it's very easy to swap out. I had no issues at all swapping that out. And yeah, it's got great details. It's just like you'd see on a regular NECA figure in, in a box. Very well done. Yep, I really like it. And this cool thing, this is the belt sander that he uses in Hatchet 3. And I... I'm really blown away by all the little details they put on it. They put the blood right there on it. And yeah, it, it looks like a little handheld mini belt sander. It's great. Really impressed with that little piece. And of course, here is his hatchet. Because it wouldn't be complete without it. But yeah, they did, they did great with the detail in this as well. With the blood spatter and everything. Very well done. And now for the best part, here is a close-up of Victor Crowley himself. And yeah, as you can see, uh, I'll get a better close-up of him. But yeah, the details in the face and the skin, how uh, you can tell that he's a very deformed creature. It is so well done. And he comes with this like tuft of hair. And it's even the right color. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is it, it is like that kind of very light auburn color. And his spine is all like mangled up. This is very so well done. I'm so impressed with it. And the his denim overalls, they actually even feel like denim. And yeah, they're just it, it's just it's just really well done. I really like this a lot. And his boots, nice detail in the boots. They look, they look pretty convincing. Yeah, his, this, this looks really, really well done. 
I'm really impressed with the details they put in this guy. Very happy with it. And he actually will stand on his own. And here he is all set up with his belt sander in his left hand and his hatchet in his right. And like I said, you have to swap out the hands in order to for him to hold the hatchet. And But that was no issue at all. Swapped out easily. Still fits nicely. He stands very well. A very well-made figure. I, I am very happy to have Victor Crowley in my collection. And yeah, I'd like to know what your thoughts are of it. So please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about him. And, and like I said earlier, don't forget to tune into the channel tonight, March 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern. And we'll be reviewing all the Hatchet movies and the Victor Crowley movie. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great day.